leaving Hershey in the AACA Museum Harvest House, heading to a brewery harvest house about an hour away in Pennsylvania. Here we go. And for our next stop on our harvest host tour, it seems like, Sacconi Creek Brewery in Cutsdown, Pennsylvania. Courtney's just in getting the scoop on where we're gonna park. We put Patty down. I think we're gonna park back that way against the grass, because that's kind of out of the way, and I don't know. That's just That's just my feeling. Place looks cool. I think you're gonna like it. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna come up here and then back. Woot! The I was flat. right. So back there. Yep. It's flat. There's no light pollution, and you get a nice view of the field. Boom. So I'm gonna walk that way. Up right there. Most of the times, the floor like looks like this when we come into the airstream, even with bumpy roads. Today, everything that was over there is now over here, and we had some chocolates fall out of something. A little bit of a mess to clean up today. That's okay. Ooh, it's a little warm today. But I like this place. Look at our view out all over all of these fields. Easy for me to say. And the sun is going to set right down there, so I think it's going to be a perfect sunset. We have plenty of sun for solar, and... They told us to park back here. There's the brewery, of course, but all this stuff is just open. Customers will park here. Harvest host members will park back here. A oh, little heavy machinery never hurt anybody. Since it's such a warm day at the Harvest Host, there's no hookups here, obviously, so we're cracking windows. We have the fantastic fan on top of the Airstream going to get Hi, Penny. How's the internet? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> You've I mean, been using it, it's been good. I've been using it, it's been great. It's been absolutely great. I haven't done the speed test yet. Uno momento. Por favor. Por favor. Rin. We have seven megabits down, or I mean, yeah, down, and 19 megabits up. So when you're uploading something, it's super fast here. So for our YouTube videos, I've already uploaded two, our Tuesday talks. But the 7.6, that's a little low, but again, I can't stress this enough. Not all megabits are created equal. Once you start using it, you'll get a feel for how fast it really is. And here it's been perfectly fast. Yeah. I haven't really had a problem. Even though seven seems slow, it actually performs pretty well. So, so that's with the booster. I'm happy with that. That's with the booster on, but the antenna is not raised or directed yeah, in any. It's just laying down, yeah. facing, I think, that way. Yeah, which so is not the right way. Didn't but... direct it at all, but honestly, I don't think we need to. Yep. It's really nice. You know what else is really nice? Beer. And that's where we're going. And they have some over there. So if you don't like beer, they There's have the cider cocktails. here too. And wine and cocktails. Oh, and cocktails. Oh, they have a full full bar menu. Mm -hmm. So it's not just beer.
All right, after all the junk that we've been eating, I needed something lighter. So I got the wedge salad, but there's also bacon, blue cheese, so. That looks pretty, that looks pretty legit though. It's Taco Tuesday. Oh. Oh, look at it drip. That's a good sign. We have nothing else in front of us. It's all gone. I would have more of the cider or the wine or the tacos. The tacos are so good. All right, we just had dinner and some beer. My impressions were the beer was good, but it was relatively average. But the tacos, wow, those were good. Easily better, well, at least as good, maybe better than some of the tacos we've had in Tucson. Yeah. And we do Mexican in Tucson, but yeah. these guys had outstanding tacos. And you like their wedge salad, right? Yes, even the salad was, was good. Super good <laughs> and fresh, yeah. yeah. And then I had a local cider and a local glass of wine. I love breweries and places that have local options outside of what they actually make. So this place is great if you want cream sodas. They do sodas that are local, they do other mixed drinks that are local, they have all sorts of food. Yeah, and then look at where we're parked. I mean, we're we're walking across the parking lot to that. I'm looking forward to like waking up to that tomorrow morning. It's so pretty. I even picked some flowers that were weeds that are back behind the crates over there and I have a little base of the mini airstream. I'll show you that. No, we didn't oh. sneak up on her. She heard us. Penny is too smart. She hears she heard everything. Us. You hear everything, she dude. Heard us. How did you know we were coming? We were so quiet. We heard the question or bouncing. Are you bouncing? Are you bouncing? Are you bouncing? Sorry, that's the fantastic fan closing behind me. Look at the little flowers I picked. They're like dandelions, but slightly prettier. Oh, that did not focus. There you go and they're in a beer glass. I felt that was appropriate. Hi, where were you? Were you out with dad? Look at that green. Whoa. Still thinking about those tacos last night. Man, those were good. Last night was relatively quiet. There's a relatively major road, I keep using the word relatively, major road out there. And there aren't a lot of roads in this part of Pennsylvania, so semis and dump, dump, dump trucks. And basically, if you have to get around, you use these roads. There's no major highway that they could take instead. So that means there's going to be a little bit more noise. It wasn't like it was enough to wake me up or keep us awake or anything, but when we are awake, we occasionally hear the semi and dump truck and things like that. But for the most part, it was a relatively quiet evening. I'd give it a B, B plus for the sound component of everything here. But the beer was good. Nothing to write home about, but it was good. The food was an A plus, absolutely wonderful. It was nice, it was nice. And we're going to yet another Harvest, Harvest Host tonight. I know, three in a row. I think that's the first time we've done that. But then we're staying at a real campground, so we stopped boring you guys. Yes. 
Harvest. Um, tonight will be a wine-based Harvest Toast. A little bit different than some of the other wineries, I think. But this was awesome. I am very much enjoying listening to the wind in the grasses right now. Loving it. Loving it. And the food and the wine and the cider I had last night were delicious. I love places that have everything local. So the wine was local, the cider was local, even the food was sourced locally. Like, that's, that's my kind of place. So highly recommend this if you are in the area. Is that it? We closing? Yep, we're done. We're just going to do a little bit more work this morning before heading the hour or so up to our next Harvest House. So we will see you then. What do you think, Beanie? Yeah, it's dirty. Beanie nose all over it. How'd that happen?